hello hello there so today we are going to make a very delicious and yummy garden next to you alongside boiled yummy yes i know we already have garden next to you recipe on the page but this is another diverse and beautiful one guys this is very quick and easy so let's get right into it this is our beautiful garden next we are going to use all washed we are going to cut all the heads off, cut them into two, check if there are any worms or any insects in there, take them out, and we are going to boil this. So guys, come along whilst we prepare this delicious stew. We are going to add some water and cover it up whilst it's boiled, and then go ahead with our main stew, yes. So in the pot, we are going to add some palm oil. And then our sliced onions. You are going to fry that sliced onion for some time in the oil. So, guys, I'm going to list all the ingredients in the, in the description box so that you guys can take a look at it as well. So, let's fry our onion for some time before we go ahead and add our tomato paste to it. So, this is the bees the stew base yes and our garden egg is all ready and guys the smell it's so so nice so once our onion is well fried we are going to add our tomato paste like i said early on we are going to stir all this up together Let's go right ahead and add our dry herbs and spices. I'm going to list that in the description box as well. And guys, because garden egg has a little of water when it's well done, we are not going to add some more water to this too. And our tomato too is going to do that magic. So remember, we are not going to add extra water to these two bees. So let's add our blended pakpushito or scotch bonnet paper as well. Cover and your stew is almost done. So we added our salt, all pepper seasoning, and some chili powder. So stir this up. Cover it for some few minutes and you can go ahead and add your waxed eggs to it. So guys, we are going to add eggs to this too. Let's cover that up. Now back to our garden eggs. You can decide to mash this in your asanka or you can just do what I'm doing. Just take your spoon and mash this up in the bowl and it's all fine. Especially if you want to see chunks of the garden egg in this too. You are just good to go with this process.
now that our stew is almost ready let's go ahead and add our mash garden eggs to the stew yes and that this went to the aroma it's everywhere guys Once you are done adding, just stir it up and leave it for two minutes, just two minutes to simmer down. And guys, your stew is ready. So we are going to enjoy this with boiled yam. This can go with some plantains, whether ripe or not, or ripe. It can go with cocoa yam, sweet potatoes, rice, benku, kenke, almost every ghana dish can go with this yummy stew so we are going to add a mackerel as well So we are going to throw in some few scotch bonnet peppers. Yes, we are just being less char. And our stew is ready, guys. Just look at all this yumminess and beautiful stew. Now that our stew is ready, let's go ahead and cook our yam. Yes, all chopped nicely and smaller. If it's smaller, it cooks easily. And if you take one, you're just good to go. No need cutting, biting and all that. So this yam is just going to boil for five minutes and food is ready. hi guys come let's dish out a beautiful and yummy garden eggs to be made yes i hope you are going to try this at home and enjoy thank you all for watching once again and until next time have a good bye